Hello fellow enjoyers of the AFL, it's Matt here with another Supercoach video and it's not looking good. It's not looking good this week. Um, yeah, we dropped a significant amount of ranks. Um, yeah, it was really bad. Um, I'm not going to, I don't want to look at this for too much longer. Let's go into the team. Um, I didn't realize how bad it was until, you know, like the last day and I'm like, whoa, this is really bad. Um, so I was one of the many who traded in Dawson for a zero and an AC shoulder joint injury or something. Um, get well soon. Will Dawson, you looked really good um, in the blue and white. And um, yeah, maybe I didn't realize that we, that, you know, that I did so bad because I was still on the high, that North Melbourne had won. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, super coach, bad. Um, look at this midfield, man. Look at that midfield. No hundreds, no hundreds. Bont, Walsh, Steele, Miller, Oliver. Look, Walsh, Steele, Miller, Oliver, and Tom Green are the players that I've traded in, and they've been all mid, and it's really frustrating. Um, but anyway, um, not good. Let's try fix this team up. We're going to optimize. We're going to optimize for the week, um, and we're going to go into the trades because you know, yeah. Actually, you know what? Before I go into the trades, we'll talk about my uh, my trades from last week. Zorko came in ninety five. Med, med, <laughs> mid, meh. Um, but he's going to be the VC this week at the Gabba against the Saints. So we'll, let's see how that goes. Um, the trades for this week will be Sweetie. He's gone. We're going to cash him in finally. Um, Livingston, our boy, he's going to go back into the ruck. And we're going to pick up... Between Kruger and Dowling. So depending, if Dowling's the sub, it'll be Kruger. If not, then we're going to bring in Dowling because I think his scoring potential is higher. And I need the mid-forward swing. I do need that. Ruck forward swing is also very handy. But yeah, we want we want that mid-forward swing. Anyway, we're bringing him in. And then I have the dilemma now. Do I want my F6 to be Sexton or McRae, who's going to be rotating with Fife? And the thing is, Sexton has a better job, he has a better role at this point than what McRae does. But Sexton might get dropped for Will Powell, perhaps. But McRae could get dropped at any point because it's Bevo, he's, who's his coach. So look, it's a bit of a it's a bit of an uncomfortable one that I'm tossing up with here. And I'm thinking we're gonna stick we're gonna go with Sexton at F6. Um, and then worst case scenario, we'll have to trade him out if he gets dropped. It is what it is. But anyway, that's the soft call. We're going to make a soft call on that one. And right now, it's um, it's going to be McRae gone. But that will go under review. And we're going to take way too long to do it like, you know, like um, the AFL does with the score review. Anyway, I digress. The reason why one of these guys has to go is because Rankin might be back this week. And if he is back this week, we're, we're going to go get him. We're going to go get him. We're going to have one, two, three, four. We're going to have one, two, three, four, the top, the top four. Actually, you know what? We're going to have the top five because we've got Fisher as well. So that's pretty nice. And then, you know, between Fife and uh, Sexton, who it is at this point, isn't too bad. So we're going to complete that. We're going to complete that. We're going to look at the team. We're going to look about how many players we have for the buy. Um Let's do this little thing just because it's visually looks nicer. Um, McKercher is not going to be back this week, but he will be back next week, which is very nice. Um, glad I've ended up holding on to him because I think he'll be a very service serviceable D6. Um, but yeah, so we'll have one, two, three, four missing. So we'll have 18. Nah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, the only trades I will consider at this stage, like on top of this, so I can, you know, get a 19th, is Miller or Oliver to go for Goulden. Now, the the thing the thing about it is, so I was looking at Took Miller earlier, and apart from last week where he had been tagged, you know, we'll highlight all these scores that he's had for me. So I traded him in. Was it? Yeah. So I traded him in for that 89 against GWS. And it's 108, which is Goulden's 
average for the year. So is it really worth trading him? Uh, I don't think so because I'm, 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 I'm paying up 40K to go up or is it 30, so 32K to go up and the averaging about the same. So I, I yeah, I, I don't want to be too reactionary. It's annoying. It's annoying because you know he's just he's just been so frustrating, Miller, and he's not the first. He he doesn't get first dibs at the ball. I feel like in that midfield, but Goulden's playing on the wing, so there might be weeks where he just goes missing. It won't be this week, by the way, because he's versing Adelaide, who give up points to wing wing players, and they're not good. So um, yeah, or we can trade Oliver. You know, let's let's have a little look at what what is Oliver averaged for us. See, that's one thing about Clary's name. There's too many Olivers. We got to go with Clayton to search him up. That's one strike against his name for you know for you know me considering trading him this week. Annoying to search up. So when did we bring him in? I think I brought him the week after the Geelong game. So Carlton, ooh, ugh, no, 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 that's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted. Ah, he's still there. Okay. All right. After the, so it was the Carlton game, ooh, West Coast game. And his average is 94. That's no good. That's no good. Um, The only thing that makes me think, maybe just hold on to Oliver, is Petrarca is going to be out for, I think, like two or three months. I think like a lacerated spleen. Like, what the hell is that? Like, that sounds brutal. Um, so I think Oliver will get first dibs, obviously, in the guts. They're going to rely on him more. There's only one mouth to feed. You know what I mean? Um, and what's, you know, a little, well, not sub. That's not what we want. What's their run like? What's their run like? I, I can't think off the, the top of my head who the, Taggers are. Actually, you know what? No. So Shields, maybe. Maybe might tag Oliver there. Who else tags? Who else tags? Off the top of my head, there's Windhager. So he doesn't verse Windhager. He doesn't verse um, who does, uh, Chincotta. Chincotta's a good tagger. James Jordan doesn't verse James Jordan. Who are the other taggers? I don't know. Um, Brisbane don't. Oh, what's his name? No, no, they do. They have Berry. They have Berry. So West Coast, he could go crazy, he could go crazy against North and then West Coast, man. Yeah, I, I can't think of any other. So GWS, who did? <laughs> De Boer. <laughs> no, um, nah, they don't really run a tagger, I don't think, off the top of my head. Unless, um, I don't know, like Anguin no Halloran, one of those like random role player type guys, they just give the role to them. Um, Gold Coast definitely not. Port uh, McEntee, which is he's not going to go in the guts. Maybe like Willem Drew or something might run with him. And then Collingwood don't run a tag or actually he just versus Collingwood and, and did meh. But in saying that, he went meh. But he he sucked up until the second half of the first quarter, and then he was good. He ended up with a ninety-seven. So you know what? Look, I think I'm just going to hold on to Oliver. And Goulden, as much as I love him, I think he's, I met him, I've, I've mentioned this on the pod, I did meet him and he was a really nice guy. Um, he was, yeah, it was the night of his bye. So the night, the day after his bye, he flew out to go to New Zealand to uh, get a bit of golf in. So good on him. Um, yeah, nice, nice guy. Um, but no, he can't come in, unfortunately. Can't make room. So we're going to have s- 10 trades, 10 trades after this round, which is pretty good. That's not too bad at all. Um, Let's have a look for round 15. We're going to have a full defense because McCurch comes in. We'll have a full midfield pending that Clark plays in there. You know, one here and then three missing in the forward line. So the trades for next week would be to supplement also our, you know, the available players playing for that round. So we're going to trade out... Sullivan, we're gonna get the cal- let's get the calculator out. We get the calculator out. We're gonna trade Sullivan, who's gonna he's gonna maintain that two seven five price at the worst. Um, Fraser might go up another ten k, so we'll go two sixty five. You know, around about that. 
And then we had 73K as our remaining salary. So we got 613 there. Um, minus, let's say, 123. 123 rookie. He's 490 for a primo defender. That's not enough. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to generate a bit more cash. That might be via Darcy Jones to a 102K, which would be plus 80 right? And then we would have 570. That would get us Jordan Ridley, and I'd be pretty happy with that. But the other option could be is we can do a downgrade whilst borderline upgrading a player, which would be Jack Steele at 540k. Oof. So we had, we had 490. We still had 490 plus the 540 of Jack Steele. Minus, I think, yeah, if you guys will have guessed, it's, it's going to be kind of rosy, whose price should go down maybe about 30 or 40K, we'll say, for the next round. It says here 40. We'll say his price is going to be around the, th we'll say his price is going to be about 440. Let's just be conservative. So minus 440, 590. So. Yeah, that would get us Ridley as well. So we've got options. Um, if there's no real rookie downgrade that I, you know, I, I want to make, that'll be the move, um, and it gives us an extra primo to play for that round. Um, and to be honest with you, like, actually, yeah, sorry, we'll get we'll get Rosy back up. We'll get Rosy back up. He his scores were were just fine. Um, his scores were just fine at the start of the year. So you know, one fourteen. You know, he had a one fifty two there against Essendon. Um, the one bad game against Collingwood. And then I think he got injured. Actually, no. So he got injured in the Collingwood game. I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. No, no. I'm, 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 I'm stuffing this up. The, which game did he get injured in? Maybe it was the St. Kilda game. Yeah, it was the St. Kilda game. He got injured. Um, he was killing it up to that point. Um, and that's why he had less minutes. And then they tried him again this week against Adelaide. And that was dumb. Um, he... I don't know what he was doing against North. I can't remember. I think he was just sitting in the forward line, not really too involved. Um, but yeah, he'll play this week. He'll get a pretty decent score. Um, he'll probably go back to his best. But yeah, that's, this is the sort of scores we're expecting from him, you know, that that first, you know, five rounds. So still, you know, he hasn't been that good. It wouldn't be a downgrade in my opinion. It would just be a pretty, it'd be like for like, but we're banking in the cash to get Ridley. Um, anyway, that'll be the idea. Um, let's let's see what the team will end up looking like, actually. So the team would end up looking like... Switch those guys around. We'll get... Oh, we're going to turn off that buy stuff. Oh, God, I still hate this midfield, man. I still hate it. Uh, it's just so gross, man. It's so gross. Um, we'll end up with... So this would be the team. But instead... Of Sexton, it'll be Ridley, and that F7 spot will be Sexton, basically. So the team would be pretty decent, pretty decent. I'd be very happy with that. If that's what my final team ends up being, you know, and that would be with the three trades next week, with seven trades. Seven trades is heaps. That is heaps for the last few rounds. Plus, we've got the extra in Fife or Sexton. That's just That's just fine. That's just fine. Also, actually, yeah, McKercher in there. That's uh, that's gonna be our our D six. Yeah, that's 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 a solid team. Um, so yeah, again, like like I said, the only thing that will change is if I go maybe Oliver to Goulden. But it just makes trading to Ridley next week just that bit uncomfortable. So I'm probably not gonna do it right. I'm, I think I'm just gonna hold tight. Um, but yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. So you know, this was therapeutic for me. I feel a bit better about the team now um, going forward. Um, we're going to do a little draft land detour. And this week, I managed to get Noah Volta, um, who I'll, I'll have a, I'll show you guys my reasons for getting Volta. So basically, this dude plays defense. He does pretty well. Um, and in, in, a, in your forward line in draft being, you know, a tough position to fill, I'm more than willing to give him a shot. So the three games he's played in defense 
average of 82. This game as well, he played defense for most of the game, but then went forward late. I'm pretty sure. Well, let's have a look. Let's, let's have a look at the heat map. Yeah, so he played defense and then went forward right at the end just to try help him win. Um, if he does that, that's fine. Um, who was that against Carlton? Okay. Um, but yeah, so 93 average. I think it's, you know, the 80 is a bit more what I'm expecting, and that would be very good. Um, they've got Tom Lynch coming back this week, so there'll be less of a need to move him there. And then I brought in Cozzy Pickett for, uh, I think I had Sanders. So it's top 16 here. So there's 18 players on the field. You know, I'll have one out on the field. That's fine. Um, but yeah, the reason I went with Pickett is because, yeah, the, his CBAs were like, I think he had like 70% CBAs um, against Collingwood. And I can see that continuing with Petrarca out. So um, I finally got my man in Pickett. Um, there was a little, <laughs> there was a time earlier in the year where I accidentally spoiled my my, my waiver claims. And then Nick Zudz, he went and took him from me. He went and took him for him as, as waiver claim one because he thought I really wanted him. Um, but yeah, that was very cheeky of him. But now I got my man. I lost by 30 points to Frake, Frape, Frake, Frape Mekrema. Um, good on him, man. His team's really good. And he deserved the win. Um, the two players that dropped out of his score from the, his 18 both had 70. So the the, the team was excellent. Um, good on him. Who are we versing this week? Who are we versing this week? Let's have a look. A little look-see. It's gotten a bit slow on my computer. We have Nick Tatership. There we have Zuds. Um that's that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. He's he's been on a bit of a revenge tour recently, but I'm confident I'll 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 get him, man. I'm confident I'll get him. Um but anyway, um I think we'll end it there. We'll end it there. Um what else? Dino won. Um <laughs> Georgie lost again. He's given up. He's given up. I don't even think he's done any waiver claims this week. So he's <laughs> he's done. Um which is fair enough. It's been a tough year for him. Um has he picked anyone up in the Ooh. No, he hasn't. Yeah, nah, he's done. He's he's finished. Yeah, nah. That's sad. So only seven out of eight teams are competitive now in draft, which is what it is. But anyway, if you made it this far, thank you for listening to the whole video. And um, good luck for your trades again, and uh, see you on the next one. Give up. Just quit. Because in this life, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, sure, you can try. But then you're just going to lose. Big time. Because the world is run by the man. The man. You don't know the man. <laughs>